and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Prankster Burn. It's going to be our first deck today. It's a deck that we've played against a little bit throughout the last couple of weeks and we're talking about it on stream yesterday, asking chat if they'd like to see this one. And they're like, yeah, let's see this deck. So it's been a little bit since we've played it and we got some new cards in here. But, but basically what we're trying to do is have a burn deck where we're taking uh, advantage of Phantom Prankster whenever an ally dies, deal one damage to the enemy Nexus, and combining that with Neverglade Collector. Again, whenever another ally dies, you drain one from the enemy Nexus. So trying to uh, just deal damage to the enemy Nexus by having a lot of things die. Combining that with PNZ mostly because you got used cask salesmen that will summon two caustic casks that they both deal damage to each Nexus whenever they die. And then you, you combine that with Prankster and Collector, you get a lot of Nexus damage. And then PNZ gives you Mystic Shant and Get Excited. So those are good Nexus damage things. Um, now we got some new tools for Nexus damage with Doom Beast and Unspeakable Horror. Those both give us Nexus damage. Um, so yeah, that's kind of our combination here. We're gonna have a Chronicler, of, one copy of Chronicler and Ruin, Chronicler of Ruin in here, which is really good with the used cast salesman. Um, the salesman's very good with Callista, leveling that up. We got two Hecarims at the top end. That Hecarim's just a really good threat, a five-five with Overwhelm, and then of course it brings in multiple bodies attacking, which this is really like. So this makes this really nice, is because whenever you're attacking, you don't really attack with Neverglade Collector or Phantom Prankster, right? Like those like stay back. So if you if you think of like you know one slot for Prankster, one slot for Neverglade Collector, you only have like four slots of like things to attack with, but Hecarim can bring multiple bodies alongside of it, so like those four attackers can basically be six attackers with Hecarim, and then of course you get some extra drains with those, with your Collector and Prankster. So just splitting up the champions, like Elise is really good early, um, so we're getting two of each champion. And that's kind of our deck, you know, Haunted Relic just gets a lot of bodies in play that are good blockers, and then <clears throat> die to trigger your Prankster and Collector. So let's give this a try. So we've got Prankster Burn, we're gonna be playing five games in ranked and we'll see how we do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I still went to Elise because just Elise is just so good on on turn two, especially when you have the attack token on turn two, and it you know brings the extra bodies along. Also, Elise is kind of like mini Hecarim of when you attack with Elise, it brings another body along. So if you even in the late game having an Elise, you got a body or sorry, you have a board full of those kind of Phantom Prankster type cards, you can attack with Elise and bring two bodies. And Callista, the same kind of thing, right? Leveled up Callista is going to bring an extra body into play. So all of our champions can bring uh, multiple attackers into play. Well, this hand looks pretty good. I'm not sure about Get Excited. If I'm going to want... Yeah, I'm going to mulligan the Get Excited. So the kind of the awkward thing here is that I have, like... So I have the attack token on turn two. So that means we're probably going to be playing Elise on turn two instead of Curse Keeper. Bark Beast, that's a good one drop. There's nothing to fear. Clad in shining sunlight. Yuck. All right, time to be patient. I think I'm going Curse Keeper this turn and then Caretaker the next turn. Unfortunately, I don't get to play Prankster or Neverglade Collector. I don't really know why I passed there. I won't be attacking with the 2 1. Okay, 
So we'll bring the extra 1-1 one, one in. And just be able to attack with that. All right, 11 to 11. That was a good turn for us. So probably just going collector here. Could do both of these, I suppose. But probably just better to collect her. So we take four down to five. And I guess I'll just go to open attacks. And then even like if a lot of things die, we could have room afterwards for like Haunted Relic plus Prankster. Kinda wanna just attack with an Everglade Collector also. We could use a bite. Not really expecting Everglade Collector to die. Yeah, that was a great top deck for sure. Down to five. They tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. Wax or wane, we do not fear change. I don't have enough room. We need space. Mm -hmm. So I guess the play is just is just uh, cast this, get the ephemeral, now play Phantom Prankster. Arise in our time of need. Hey Zelay, yeah, this game's really fun. What's up, Agent Iowa with that resub? Thank you so much, Agent Iowa. Five months have gone quick. That's five great months. Thank you so much. All right, and there we go. So then the, the ephemeral is going to die. Our two things will trigger, and it'll deal two damage to them. A bite was all it took. Yeah, and and this game, it's, it's real easy to earn the cards, especially when you compare it to MTG. You really don't need to spend money. Just, you know, just you can grind out cards and stuff. And, of course... It's also available on mobile. You can play it on your phone. It's very free to play friendly. All right, Trundle, Trindamir. Um, I'm gonna keep the Bark Beast and Callista. I'm feeling like the Hapless Aristocrats was not gonna be doing enough for me, like damage-wise. Yeah, and do beast is kind of slow. Probably not the best matchup for us. Probably. You mean never, never open attack? Yeah, there's, there's no games there. There's no, yeah, like mana screw, mana flood. Those aren't things in this game. Claws. 
So I could unspeakable horror my own curse keeper, turn the bark beast into a 3-3. Three, three. No. Okay, yeah, we'll check we'll check out that uh, the new card after this game. Uh, looks like they're going for Avalanche. We fight for one Freljord. Okay, not Avalanche. Not Avalanche. Um, so definitely think about just playing the Neverglade Collector. Yeah, let's do that. Be trying to burn them out. Nothing's tougher than a troll. I don't know why I attacked the Bark Beast in front of the Callista. That probably wasn't. That probably didn't make a lot of sense to do that. make a lot of sense to do that. It's always running out of room. So I want to get excited and kill the Trundle. But I don't really know what I want to discard. Um, I mean, I, I kind of think it's Callista. No, yeah, I mean, I kind of, yeah, I think kind of think it's Callista. Or they're just Doom Beast? Oh my gosh, double troll chant. Got to be ki kidding me. Well, that was just a horrendous turn for me. Yeah, that was horrendous. Yes, it's, yes, this is very easy to learn, especially coming from magic. It will not, you will understand stuff right away. There's, there's a, uh, they probably have like 10 to 15 real short tutorials, you know, like a couple minute tutorials. Um, just like little things that kind of help teach teach you the game. It's very easy. Um, I'll take him dead or near you know, so like, of course, the, this is our life tolls over here. You know, you start at 20, just like magic. Both players start at 20. Uh, this is like the amount of mana we have. It's like they have nine mana. I have zero. Um, each you know each turn you get an, an additional mana. If you don't spend all of your mana, you can bank up to three mana and be able to use that later, but only on spells and not on 
units or, you know, creatures. Yeah, the, the priority system, you, you have to get kind of get used to the priority system. So they're at 11. Whatever the cost. Oh, I mean, I guess I had a free attack of hitting the ice pillar, too. Face me. First one's free. All right, they're down to four. We're trying over here. Hapless Aristocrats, the absolute worst card in my deck to draw. That's unfortunate drawing both of those. Ugh, exact lethal. It's a huge bummer. Still exact lethal. Must we fight? Exact lethal. That, that saving, like, my opponent won that game because of double troll champ with four mana having those two troll chants to save their trundle. If they don't have that, that, you know, we win that game. They just have the one troll chant. Double troll chant won on that game. All right, looks like we got a, a burn mirror. So it's best of, so this game is best of one. But you do know you know what what regions your opponent's playing, so that's like colors and magic, right? So you'd be able to see it's like a blue green deck or whatever. Um, and then you also know their champions, which are like their mythics, or, like, or um, so you get to know that. So you, so you know what kind of deck that you're playing against with best of one whenever you're making your mulligan decision, and you mulligan individual cards, and so that makes it, it makes it being best of one uh, much better. See, Stalking Shadows is awesome, but I just don't, I don't know if we'll have time for it. We're gonna have to be fast in this matchup. I never That's an egg. So you make good mulligan decisions because of that. Aim. Please, I have connections. Might as well make that block. There's nothing to fear. No, oh, what a card. What a card on their side. We could use a bite. It's worth the attack at the spiraling in here. Now their gangplank's at two out of five already. My plan was like aristocrat and unspeakable horror. This thing. Stole the Russians, shackle the prisoners. <laughs> Playing Callista here makes their attacks pretty difficult, unless they want to throw away Pool Shark into Callista. Oh, I thought that other, I thought the Maker Rain was killing the other Spiderling also. I thought that we were leveling up our Callista, to be honest. Maybe I should have just Unspeakable Horde my other Spiderling to level up Callista. But now it's probably just best to get rid of that blocker. Yep. Um... Yeah, there is ranked in this game. Nothing's really been like any 20% of the meta game deck. So with this being just a, a 
with this being all digital, they change cards. So usually about about once a month, uh, sometimes more, sometimes twice a month, um, they will change. Like these cards will be changed, and so like a lot of these cards have been been changed before. So like if if a card's too good, they'll just nerf it down a little bit. You know, like maybe. Um, you know, like for example, like this card that we're playing right here is a, a two mana two three. Maybe if it, you know, if it was too good, maybe they'd make it a two mana two two. For example, like this, this was like two weeks ago. This card was a three two, but now it's a three one because it was it was too good at three two. And so, so that's so they keep ba so everything just stays pretty balanced, and nothing gets to be just too good because of that. And then if there's so then on the other side, if there's like some. Some cards that are too weak, they'll buff those up. Like Callista used to be too weak, and and uh, this is like a new new Callista, what she does. So that's Not today. there we go, GGS. So that's really cool that you don't have you don't have to worry about cards being like way way too good because if they are, they they get nerfed pretty quickly but that's that hasn't really happened too much that's right she bonded on summon and her level up was to summon her bonded unit that's right that's what Callista did like you you pair whenever you summon Callista you'd pair it with something on board and then whenever you'd have leveled up Callista it would attack it would bring that thing back um looks pretty good let's get rid of this relic don't need that thing Unfortunately, my opponent has the attack token on turn three. We do not. This could be a, an important thing. Hey, cart girl. Also, Zelay, the, the turns are shared. So, like, this is turn two. I can play my two mana unit. They can play their two mana unit. The turns are shared. So, like, this is turn three now. Like, they have three mana... So they can play their three mana unit. I have my three mana. I can play my three mana unit. So it's so that makes it where um, it's not just uh, if you go first, you know, you're gonna run your opponent over. Because you both get to play your one drops on turn one, and both can play two drops on turn two and stuff like that. It's just the person who attacks goes back and forth. So they're they're attacking this turn. All right. Um, so I could play Callista and just try to have like Callista Fiora trade. I kind of want to get excited the Fiora discard Haunted Relic, probably. Yeah, I want to do that. No challenge. The end of the season should be whenever the next set comes out, which they said is going to be on the 14th. So that should be the end of the season. The, the seasons go from set to set. These woods protect their own. Now they said that the new set's on the 14th. I've got your back. Nature blesses her followers. I don't have any grand plans. Let's make a deal. I wanted to be able to play that and Callista and have both of those die to level up Callista. So I want it to happen. Dark, 
This game's not looking good. Their pride will cost them. Not looking good. We shall Hold nothing back. Who would trespass here? I'm sorry. Hey, what's up, Boo? Yeah, they have they have a nice shark puppy. <laughs> Oh, that's not the best Callista draw. I guess we're gonna have to go Doom Beast without Nightfall. Don't really have other options. Hoping to have a different option. Not doing anything? Four, four cards in hand? Not doing anything with four cards in hand. Alright, so how are we going to beat this dragon? Not sure. Not sure how we're beating the dragon. They have five cards in hand. They've got to just be a bunch of barrier cards, probably like Spirit's Refuge. Also, rallies. No, we... <laughs> no, we didn't have the best of draws. I mean, the get excited were both kind of rough of how I, you know, had to discard cards and we're just all these down cards. All right, looks like they got this. The blighted caretakers were awesome. But Screeching Dragon is just so perfect against me, how it just keeps on growing. Like, right? Like, it's gotten plus four, plus four. It's the less... So, that's why it has the three health. That was a better draw. I guess Doom Beast. Yeah, Glimpse Beyond... Yeah. Let's be would have been a good one too, but they probably have some fight cards over there. Probably. Strike, we will reform. Yeah, they're just gonna be able to draw another spell. So they just used a spell to draw a spell. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. I find them unworthy. Pick up their flea feather tracker alive. They should definitely have more single combats and concerted strikes. I I don't I think the Neverglade Collector is going to die right away. The reason to play it still is like if if for some reason they don't have it, but if we draw Hecarim, we, we wouldn't have eleven mana to be able to play Collector and Hecarim. A gift from the river folk. <laughs> Quiet of the woods, there's nothing like it. Alright, two and two. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to be able to have the Ephemeral Doom Beast as a blocker. I wasn't going to be able to play it as with Nightfall and also before they attacked. That that just wasn't possible. We weren't, weren't going to have that Ephemeral Doom Beast as a blocker. It means they'd have to play multiple things before they attacked. And at that point of the game, when they hadn't been playing anything in a while, it just wasn't something that could happen. All right, we're going to mulligan all those cards. They're all average at best. We got a lot of two mana spells around here. Bark Beast isn't necessarily the one drop that I wanted, but it is a one drop. So if I if I go Chronicler of Ruin, kill this Bark Beast, will it come back as being ephemeral, or will it come back normal? Normal. I pull the string. Okay, it does lose ephemeral when we resummon it, so that's pretty cool. We could use a bite. It's tempting to pass turn whenever they said pass turn. It's not too bad though. I'm not sure why they wouldn't just do that before I attacked when they had priority. I don't know why they would let me attack and get a spiraling first, if that was their plan. Ooh. Do we want a lot of used cast salesmen? And burn them down? That just burns us down also. Doom Beast. So basically what I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is, is having the Chronicler of Ruin combo with that. All right, gonna combine these together. Basically holding up this unspeakable horror for the powder keg. I want to kill the keg in response to them being able to use the keg. I'm always up for a round or two. Killing the keg doesn't do a whole lot for me, actually. Something for all of you. Probably combining that and Ravenous Flock. Yep. I guess the Collector took out two cards from their hand, two valuable removal spells. That's good. Took down two valuable removal spells. Yeah, I, I, just, I just don't think I don't think killing either of those to grow the bark beast was worth it. Oh man, um, I don't want them. To, I don't want to do this, and then they have another twisted fate. All right, like I'm worried about that. Oh, 
I want Swain to be able to block. I want him just to block, go down to like 5 health. Okay, they were not planning on blocking, looks like. Could be good. Definitely use another Neverglade Collector or Phantom Prankster with these kind of cards. I need to Mystic Shot the Spray Fin. It's not ideal. So I probably have to, though. So let's see. So right now, we're both taking two. So it's going to be, a, if I don't cast it, it's going to be 11 to 13. Yeah, I guess I need to cast it. Because casting it, not only, you know, does it save the damage for me taking it here, but then also if, I'm, if I attack on the way back with these things... Um, they don't have the blocker. It's a good card. No Come come this way. You dare oppose Noxus. I don't think in Bilgewater you can make Swain elusive. I don't think so with Bilgewater. Know your place. None that's coming to mind. So I don't get to draw a card if I cast the Pale Cascade right now. They're down to five. Nearly pawns in a greater game. My saplings. Another salesman would put them down to three. So we just gotta draw get excited. First one's free. There's a get excited. We just need them not to kill my Neverglade Collector. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. I'm having five mana left. So if, if any of these do damage, they can just do damage to my Neverglade Collector and then also Ravenous Flock it. So if any of those do damage, we are in trouble. But I think we go for it. I'll take him dead on. I don't think I sit back. I think we go for it. That's a win. Is it a win? Hopefully. That's a win. GG's. Build your own Leviathan. That was a good win right there. That was a good win. I think our tech our deck was more impressive than than I thought really. I mean it it actually looks pretty good. You know, 3 and 2 and both of our losses pretty close, a little unlucky like that um, they had to have two troll chance. You know, the the trundle player if they don't if they just don't have two troll chance, we win and then we're 4 and 1 in hand. Um, so yeah, being able to play trundle with double troll champ uh, backup on like turn 5. Um, that lost me one game, but, uh, yeah, then, you know, like, our other loss was also super close. Yeah, this deck looked pretty good. I liked, I liked this deck. Um, I guess our, our other loss wasn't very close. Never mind. We got, we got destroyed by the Demacia Challenger deck. That wasn't that close. 
Uh, I guess not. Nope, no glimpse beyond. Uh, no, I guess no glimpse beyond. Uh, I thought I had glimpse beyond, but no, I guess not. <laughs> Use Cast Salesman was awesome, of course. Being able to pair that with Prankster and Collector, you can get a lot of drain. That's for sure. Um, but, you know, just Blighted Caretaker, Curse Keeper. Like, those, that combination is just so good. And then combining that with Stalking Shadows and Unspeakable Horror. Like, those cards are just so good. And then we, ha we have just a really good um, baseline for a deck with those. Our champions did well with Elise and Callista, and even the Hecarim, the one time we had Hecarim, it did well. Um, yeah, I, liked, I like this deck. So there you go. There's another option for a, a different kind of burn deck for those of y'all uh, wanting to try something new. If you like Shadow Isles, you want to play a lot of Shadow Isles cards and um, just do Nexus damage. Let your things die. You know, you want you want your all your stuff to die and just be able to you know, suicide attack them in, not worry about them, and have your Neverglade Collector and Phantom Prankster finish the game. Pretty cool one. All right, that's Fa Prankster Burn. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.